there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatar here, and today we're going to be talking about 7 mosques that you have to visit while in Qatar. Number 1. State Grand Mosque The Grand Mosque was named after Imam Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab, a well-known religious Muslim leader, reformer, theologian, and pioneer during the 18th century. It's the largest mosque in the country, with 93 domes. Its facade is made up of sandstone and preserved traditional features of Qatar's rich heritage and its prolific history. Number 2. Education City Mosque Education City Mosque rests on five large columns representing the five pillars of Islam, with each featuring a verse drawn from the Holy Quran. The two minarets point towards Mecca and are also embossed with verses from the Holy Quran. Number 3. Hamid International Airport Mosque The modern design of the mosque is inspired by the shape of a water droplet. Beside the mosque is a tall minaret that overlooks the airport lagoon. The HIA mosque can be reached from the departures hall. Number 4. Katara Masjid or the Blue Mosque the Blue Mosque earned its name from its facade, filled with turquoise and purple mosaic tiles. The mosque's architectural elements and designs are inspired by several famous mosques in the world. Number 5. Golden Mosque Another notable mosque located in Katara is the Golden Masjid, an Ottoman-style mosque which is decorated with extremely small golden chips. Sometimes you'll see people taking selfies in front of them. Sometimes you'll see people checking if it's real gold. Number 6. Msherab Mosque The mosque is made of local stone and inspired by traditional Qatari mosque design. Also, due to its tailored sunlight design, it needs no artificial lighting during daylight hours. That's pretty cool. This mosque earned accolades for its adoption of new technologies and meticulously planned architectural features. Number 7. Abdullah bin Zayd al-Mahmoud Islamic Cultural Center The mosque, also known as Fanar, or the Spiral Mosque, remains one of Doha's iconic landmarks, especially at night. It's named after Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayd al-Mahmoud, a famous Qatari scholar and founder of Qatar's judicial system. Aside from being a mosque, it's also a place where non-Muslims can learn about Islam and Islamic culture. It's also inspired by a very famous mosque in Iraq. So, let us know, have you been to any of these mosques here in Qatar?